Hi everybody. I hope you're well. Welcome to According to Madume and I am Madume. If you're new here, welcome, 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 welcome. Don't forget to subscribe so you can get videos weekly. Um, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me to be discovered and with the algorithm. So today I thought I would share with you guys an experiment I've been doing with two different savings accounts. So no, one is an investment account, which is the NetBank Just Invest account. And the other one is the Time Bank Go Save. So I'm going to give you a few facts about each account so that you can get context. context and then I'm going to share with you um, how much I have gained uh, with interest so far. So I'm going to start with the NetBank Just Invest account. It has a 24-hour withdrawal notice, meaning you can only get your money after 24 hours. So you notify them, hey, I want my money, and you have to wait for 24 hours before you get your money. It has an interest rate that starts from 7.05 to 8.75. The highest interest you can get depends on how long you keep the money in the investment account. So the longer you keep the money, the higher the uh, interest rate you will receive. And then you can choose to reinvest the interest that you receive or you can choose to pay out the investment and get it into your account. And then the other thing is it has a minimum uh, opening deposit of 500 rands. And once you open it, you can only take out a minimum of 100 rand. But to keep the account, you have to make sure you always have 500 rand in the account. So as soon as you pay out the whole 500 rands, the account closes automatically. And then for you to have another Just Invest account, you have to open another one. Another fact is you can transfer the money either from your NetBank account directly into the Just Invest account, or you can use a different account, like from another bank, to invest, to deposit money into the Just Invest account. So now I'm going to talk about the Time Bank Go Save. It has no minimum uh, deposit, so whatever money you, whatever amount you want to put in, you can put that amount. It doesn't have a minimum deposit requirement. The interest starts at 5% and can go as high as 11%. But the catch is you have to at least keep the money in the Go Save account for more than three months for you to reach the 11% interest rate. And um, Time Bank claims to have the highest interest rate in the market. So I guess with this little experiment, we will see after three months if it's true. Another fact about Time Bank Go Save is that it has a minimum 10 day uh, withdrawal notice. They don't force you to uh, wait the 10 days, but for you to get the maximum interest that you earned, meaning let's say you've kept the uh, money in the Go Save for more than uh, three months, and maybe it's been a year, for you to get the maximum interest, you have to give them a 10-day notice. Notice, If you don't, they take a certain amount from your interest. So it will be in your best interest, excuse the pun, <laughs> to, to give them a 10-day notice so that you don't lose any interest you earned. Another thing is you can have up to 10 goal saves in uh, attached to your uh, time bank account and um, you can only have a hundred thousand uh, as the sum of the 10 um, goal save accounts so you can't go over a hundred thousand in your overall uh, goal save account so if you have one you can only get up to a hundred thousand which is a con in my opinion because why would you want to limit the amount of money that you want to save but then it's a different conversation. It will depend whether you do have the 100,000 or not. 
so i opened this just invest account on the 24th of february this year meaning it has been open for 15 days now today is the 10th of march um it is at the lowest interest rate which is 7.05 and i haven't earned any interest for the month so my interest is only gonna come in next month the end of the end of march which is i'm gonna get my interest on the 25th of march so for now it's still adding up the interest from the 24th of february until the end of march on the 25th then i opened the goal save one on the 24th 1st of february which is three days before the just invest one but one thing i want to um show you guys is that i deposited 460 into the goal save one which is um 40 rand less than the net bank one i deposited 500 into the net bank one and so far i have made one rand 14 cents in the time bank one and it has less money in it um so by my observation and what i've seen so far uh time bank is definitely the best one if i had put in this money the 500 into this account and made like 1400 i would have earned way more interest with time bank than i would have with net bank thus far obviously this depends entirely on your preference um, if you prefer net bank then that's great but i think as far as functionality and the best interest rate time bank is the best um, it's something you should actually try out and see for yourself what your interest rate will do with the money that you want to save uh, that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye